Hexophyella gene selme is a saprotrophic fungus in the family Herpotrichiellaceae. Four varieties have been discovered. Exophyella gene selme var. Heteromorpha. E. Gene selme var. Lecony corny. E. Gene selme var. Gene selme. And E. Gene selme var. Castellanii. Other species in the genus Exophyella such as E. Dermatitidis and E. Spinifera have been reported to have similar analytic conidiogenesis and may therefore be difficult to differentiate. History. Exophyella gene selme was first isolated in 1928 by gene selme from a case of black mycetoma on the foot. The nomenclature was based on the fungus's morphological characteristics. Hence, it was originally classified as Torula gene selme because of its yeast-like shape when grown in culture. It was later reclassified by McGuinness and Pagier in 1977 as Exophyla gene selme after further research on conidiogenesis, morphology, in culture, e. gene selme produces slow-growing colonies that are green-black in color. Cultures manifest a combination of mycelial and yeast-like growth forms. However, the yeast light typically predominates. Black aerial mycelium develops on the colony surface that consists of hyphae with swellings at regular intervals. Conidia are variable in size and are often formed in clusters at the tip of analytic conidiogenous cells. The conidia are narrowly ellipsoidal in shape and 2.6 to 5.9 micrometers times 1.2 to 2.5 micrometers in size. Immature sexual fruiting bodies called ascomata have been reported but their rare occurrence are thought to be due to the lack of mating compatibility. Exophyella gene selme is affiliated with the ascomycete genus Capronia. Ecology Exophyella gene selme is commonly found in soil, plants, water, and can also be isolated from decaying wood as this fungus is a saprotroph in nature. This species has worldwide occurrence but are particularly noted in Asia and more commonly in tropical and subtropical regions. The genus Exophyella has been isolated from hydrocarbon-rich environments as well as from hot, humid, and oligotrophic environments such as dishwashes, steam bath facilities and bathrooms that only provide low levels of nutrients. It has been proposed that the conditions usually found within dishwashes such as high temperature, moisture and alkaline pH can provide an alternative habitat for human pathogenic species. The fungus has optimal growth at 30 degrees Celsius but growth is inhibited at 40 degrees Celsius. Most strains isolated from soil cannot grow at temperatures higher than 30 degrees Celsius while strains isolated from humans can grow at higher temperatures such as 37 degrees Celsius of the human body. This adaptation of E. gene cell may have developed evolutionarily in order to survive on the human hosts. This is a distinguishing factor that helps in determining the pathogenicity of a particular strain. A feature that distinguishes E. gene cell may from Cladosporium which forms very similar colonies is that E. Gene cell may is not proteolytic. It is able to assimilate glucose, gelactose, maltose, and sucrose, but not lactose. Pathogenesis. Exophyella gene cell may has versatile adaptability and acts as an opportunistic pathogen. Infections are more common in immunocompromised people and can also have manifestations in healthy people with wounded skin via traumatic implantation. Chronic steroid use has been found to increase the severity of inflammation. There were also cases where infections by E. gene cell may occur during solid organ transplants. Infections frequently cause inflammation in the cutaneous and subcutaneous tissues of the skin, causing pheomycotic cyst chromoblastomycosis and can occasionally cause eumycetoma which is a chronic granulomatous disease in the form of black grains. Mycetoma, 
A common form of clinical manifestation of E. Gene Selmy is a chronic granulomatous inflammatory disease that forms abscess and draining sinuses in more advanced stages. In mycotic mycetoma, vesicles of cyst-like structures are formed. Dissemination, endocarditis and arthritis could arise from an opportunistic infection by E. Gene Selmy and it was also isolated from fear hyphomycosis with sclerotic round bodies. There have been several cases of E. Gene Selmy being the etiological agent of fear hyphomycosis in domesticated cats where diagnoses were confirmed by sequencing the fungus's ribosomal RNA. The grains of this fungus are small, black in color and have soft centers. Rare cases of keratitis infection of the cornea, have also identified E. Gene cell may as the etiological agent. In vitro susceptibility and treatment, the minimum inhibitory concentration, Mike, of fluconazole 4 E. Gene cell may is very high. Flucytosine and meconazole also have relatively high MICs which indicate that the fungus is fairly resistant to these drugs. Amphotericin B ketoconazole, and voriconazole have lower MICs. And E. Gene cell may is most susceptible to intraconazole and tabinafine. Novel drugs such as echinocondin and caspofungin also have favorable antifungal activity against exophyella gene cell may isolates. However, in vitro susceptibility in comparison to the efficacy of antifungal agents in clinical manifestations of this fungus is currently unknown. That in vitro success may or may not directly correlate clinically. Previous cases of black grain mycetoma caused by E. Gene cell may were clinically treated and cases of fear hyphomycosis caused by this fungus were completely cured where both cases were remedied by administering intraconazole. E. Gene cell may also showed some susceptibility to being treated with antifungal agents such as amphotericin B, voraconazole and posaconazole. Amphotericin B used to be the most potent antifungal treatment for severe fungal infections, but due to its strong association with severe side effects such as nephrotoxicity, its use is now often replaced with isoles and echinocondins. The use of combinations of surgical excision and pharmacological treatments for severe infections is usually the preferred way to treat diseases caused by this fungus.